Hi everyone, I'm back with another part of my declutter video and um, for starters I would like to announce that I have found my second um, Catrice Velvet Matte Eyeshadow in Vanility Fair. I had said in my um, single eyeshadow and pigment declutter that I most likely had it outside and that's, that was the case. So um, it is back, I now have my two. So this is 14 um, single eyeshadows and pigments that I kept. Now. Um, <clears throat> This leads me to another bigger project and these are my nail polishes. I am going to actually probably dump them right in front of me and um, I'll go from there. So I'm um, also ignore the mess back there. I'm storing all the cluttered makeup on my vanity right now so that um, I can see what all I actually have decluttered at the end. So um, I have an entire drawer of um, nail polishes right here. And I think I'm going to go through them bit by bit. So for starters, I have um, these two here. And actually, yeah, there's a third one. These are all the exact same um, nail polish and shade. These are the P2 Color Victim Nail Polishes in 200 Rebel. This is a blue-toned purple. And um, I bought two backups years ago because this went out of um, their... Um, the product range and I liked the color enough to want a backup and then I ended up getting two which was totally ridiculous because by then I had not used up a single nail polish. So I'm going to pass two along, they're still very good and I'm going to keep one. And then I have a China Glaze nail polish, this is in Surfing for Boys, this is a neon coral um, nail polish and I'm just going to pass this along because I don't use this. The same goes for this OPI nail polish. This is in Guy Meets Galveston. This is a very, very nice um, color. This is also pretty much neon, but not as much as the China Place one. I hope you can see the difference. This is much brighter than that. Um, oh, well, no. I'm going to pass this along as well. Then I have another OPI nail polish. Um, this is in Big Hair, Big Nails. Um, these two here, these two OPI nail polishes are actually from their um, jelly range, their jelly um, type nail polish limited edition, and they are very similar. So I'm going to pass both of these along. Then I have another um, China Glaze nail polish. This is in Sea Spray, and this is a nice um, bluish um, gray. I love this color a lot, but I just don't use nail polishes as often as I used to, so I'm going to pass this along. Another OPI nail polish is um, Gone Gone So. This was from the Muppets Limited Edition and this is a wonderful glitter polish. This is more of a top coat, honestly. And it has teal and silver glitters. The um, teal glitters are very small and the um, silver glitters are bigger parts. I'm going to pass this along. Pretty sure I can find a good home for this because it's beautiful. Another nail polish is um, my China Glaze nail polish in um, Ruby Pumps. I am torn about this one because I love this shade and everything about it. One layer is more on the pinky side, two layers is um, a relatively neutral red. And um, basically you have a um, slightly reddish tinted base and um, red glitter particles in it. And this is an amazing nail polish. I just don't think I wear red nail polish in general and um, glitter nail polish um, and red nail polish together um, as often that I should keep this. So I'm probably going to pass as long as I'm sitting inside for the time being. Then another um, China Glaze nail polish, this is from their Holographics um, collection. This is in Rare and Radiant and I hope I can catch the shifts in here. So this is a golden a green teal shift. Probably does not show up too well. Um, it's beautiful but I don't wear it. I think I've worn this maybe once. I'm going to pass this along. Then I have um, three Manhattan nail polishes here. They are in in Urban Diva is this silver polish right here. Um, Ni Hao in the morning is this uh, creamy shade right here. And then this one is in green and bronze. This is um, a olive or even military green with um, 
bronzy and rusty um, glitter particles. I'm going to pass all three along, honestly, because I don't wear these shades often enough and I'm pretty sure I can find a good for home for them. <clears throat> then I have another China Glaze nail polish. This is in Poinsettia. Poinsettia is actually the uh, nail polish that is responsible for the bad state of my nails right now. Um, as you can maybe see, they are stained beyond belief and this is all because of this nail polish here. So I'm going to just throw this out because I don't want anybody else to have to go through this um, situation with their nails. Then I have um, this Selling Hands nail polish here. This is in Crown Jewels. This is a nail polish topper. And as you can see, these are just golden and um, rainbow <clears throat> glitters, glitter particles in here. Very beautiful, but I don't use this, so I'm going to pass this along. I haven't even opened this one, honestly. So, next we have um, my last Essie nail polish as far as I know. This is in Wrapped in Rubies and this is a ruby red with golden reflex which you can see on screen here. And um, it is a very beautiful nail polish but I cannot use um, Essie nail polishes. I have the feeling they really mess with my hands. So I'm going to pass um, this one along. I know other people have much better luck with Essie nail polishes so um, I'm pretty sure I can find a good home for this because the shade is just beautiful. Then I have um, a Sinful Color nail polish here. This is in the shade Hazard. This is a orangey coral shade and I love this a lot but I have similar shades and I just don't reach for this as often as I would like to. So I think I'm going to find a new home for this. And um, the same goes for this China Glaze nail polish in Make Some Noise. This is another um, corally shade. As you can see, um, Hazard from Sinful Colors is much more orange. This is more coral. So I'm going to pass this one on a lot as well because um, I just don't reach for it and I have too many nail polishes. Or do I want to pass on Sinful Colors, Hazard? Let me think about this one in a bit. Then I have a MAC nail polish. This one is in the shade Oyster Shell. This is a light um, light gray with a little bit of a brown in it. And I don't want to use this, so I'm going to pass this along. Then I have this um, orange yellow um, Kiko nail polish in the shade number 356. I'm going to pass this along because I don't wear yellow nail polish. Then I have two Catrice nail polishes here. I'm going to go with this one first. This is um, Steal My Heart. This is in their crushed metal effect range. And as you can see, this is a, um, hopefully you see this is a purple with um, rainbow shimmer in it. And this dries to a semi-matte finish and this is really beautiful but um, the shade just does not go well with my complexion. So I'm going to pass this along. The second one I had was this here. This is Hip Queens Wear Blue Jeans. This is a dark blue, a jeans blue color with um, blue shimmer particles that you can see right here. Again, a beautiful color, but I don't wear this often because it just does not go well with my complexion. So I'm going to try and find a new home for this. Now, um, all the um, nail polish I'm trying to find new homes for, actually, I have opened before. Because I went through everything to make sure that um, the texture and the consistency is still good. The next nail polish I have here is my Catrice Ultimate Nudes Nail Polish in Café Olé at Notre Dame. This for me is a true nude. This looks wonderful on my nails. But um, I have two of these. So I'm going to keep this one here because this one has the bigger dent in it. And I haven't even used this one yet, so I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to keep this. And then I have another um, P2 Color Victim Nail Polish in a Groovy. This is a um, dirty teal shade. I'm going to pass this along just because I don't reach for it often enough. Another um, P2 um, Color Victim Nail Polish is a Summer Calling. I'm keeping this. This is beautiful. This is a orangey coral with um, golden reflex. And let me see if I can 
catch the there you can probably see the reflex up here yeah so this is beautiful I'm gonna keep that and I've already made a dent in here so I'm gonna just see if I can use this one up then um, I have this Catrice nail polish here this is in Clayton my hero I'm gonna keep this one for sure this is a taupey nail polish with golden reflex it is beautiful I absolutely love this. I don't think it's in their current um, rate product range of nail polishes anymore, which um, is pretty, it's pretty sad, but um, I love the shade and I'm going to keep this one. Then I have another P2 Color Victim Nail Polish. This is in Drama. Now this is a um, cream finish, so um, this is just a bright orange. I'm going to keep this because it's just beautiful and um, it is a nail polish from when P2 was still cruelty free. Um, the thing with P2, by the way, is that um, they were sold, and um, the current status of their um, of their brand is no longer as secure because the brand that it was sold to is um, selling in China, and so they have to test there. And um, so the status of P2 just is not sure anymore, so I'm just keeping what I have of P2, but I'm not going to buy anything new. Just thought I would sh um, explain that. And then I have a NYX Girls Nail Polish. This is in Mushroom Glitter, and this is a golden -y taupey glitter in a way. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but I'm going to keep this because I think it's quite neat. Um, with I think two to three layers, this one is actually opaque, so um, I'm gonna keep that. My next nail polish is this Zoya nail polish here. This is in Cody. This is a dark, dark brown, and I don't think it has any. Yeah, this is a cream finish as well, so I'm gonna keep this because Zoya is cruelty free. Um, their nail polishes are absolutely wonderful, and um, yeah, I have to keep this. Let me go on with my other two Soya nail polishes while we're at it. This one here is in Jules. This is um, probably similar to Clayton, but they are both gorgeous, so I'm going to keep them. And then I have um, the probably for my collection most unique nail polish. This is um, Zoya Yara. This is a olive -y green with um, golden reflex in it. And I just have to keep this one. Then I have an Orly nail polish right here. This is in the shade Chocolate Martini. And this is a... How am I going to... There we go. This is a bronzy orange and I love this. Then I have another Catrice nail lacquer in Rusty But Sexy. This is a rusty shade and I'm going to keep this. The same goes for this Catrice nail polish in From Dusk to Dawn. This is a brown with a hint of grey and it's just beautiful. Then I have an Essence a Nail Art Special Effect Topper. This is in Night in Vegas and this just leaves this wonderful sheen on your nails if you put this over nail polish. It's just gorgeous. Then I have another um, P2 Color Victim nail polish in Goodnight Kiss. This is a brownie red, a brownish red. I'm going to keep that one as well. My oldest Catrice nail polish, this is in Praline, and I'm going to keep that. This is a um, darker champagne -y color, I would describe it. Uh, so um, here we go. This is beautiful, and it lasts a long time. Then I have another Kiko nail polish in the shade 367. This is a slightly orangey brown color. It's hard to explain, honestly. I'm not good with explaining colors, but this is just beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. Then we're coming to my um, OPI um, little mini nap lacquers. These are from the um, Burlesque Limited Edition. They are in Rising Star. Take the stage. The show must go on and Ali's big break. I'm still debating about these. I might just keep them. I'm going to think about it a bit longer though. Then I have two more of the nail polishes of their minis. This is from the Touring America collection. And I have 
my address is Hollywood and a Tobler Space Needle. I'm going to think about these as well because I like the colors. So this leads us to um, some more Manhattan nail polishes. Um, these two here, now these don't have names. This is five, um, 45Q and this is a dark red, but I'm not wearing this. So I'm going to pass this along. And then I have from the Bonnie Strange collection the um, shade number 006. This is a plummy shade with golden reflex in it. It's technically beautiful, but I don't wear this. So I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to have an Annie nail polishes in uh, an Annie nail polish in Surfing Crocodile. This is a shiny, shiny bright teal. I'm going to pass this along as well because I don't wear it. Now, um, I have another Manhattan nail polish from the Bonnie Strange collection. This is a shimmery teal that is absolutely gorgeous, but again, I don't wear this. So I'm going to pass this along. Um, my last OPI minute, this is from the Katy Perry collection. Uh, for the life of me, I don't remember the name, so I'm going to pass this along because I just don't wear it. So the nail polish I am going to throw out is this OPI, um, Nicole by OPI nail polish from the, I believe, Justin Bieber collection in Honey Do You Love Me. This has gone all gloopy and I just, I'm not going to bother. This is um, basically a clear base with um, teal hearts in it and um, I can't even make this show up on this, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I can make this show up properly. So I'm going to pass this and I'm going to throw this out along with the poinsettia. Then um, I think most of the, le the leftover nail polishes are the ones that I was debating on putting into my... Pardon me? Into my Project Use It Up for um, 2016. So um, if I declutter too many, I'm just going to see what I'm going to do with my um, project. But... Ah! I see. Um, I already decluttered um, one in my um, in my um, project polish. This is gone, gone. So, and I had this in my project. Use it up, and uh, apparently I decided to get rid of it. Mm. Let me put this on the maybe pile just in case. The next one I wanted to maybe use up is this guy here. This is a tanning lace nail polish in. Twinkle Lights. Now, I have made quite some progress. I am about here. Yeah, I'm about here. Ooh, pardon me. There. And um, I'm going to keep this in because I think this would be a fun nail polish throughout the year as an accent nail, but also for Christmas and the holiday season as um, an all-over nail polish. I'm going to keep that. Then um, my Art Deco nail lacquer in number 12 is a nice orangey coral shade a reddish coral. I'm gonna keep this because I think I'm gonna just use this up and then I'll be done. Next up we have this OPI nail polish in Chocolate Shakespeare. This is a very nice sh um, shade and I'm gonna keep this because I just love the um, the shade of this nail polish. So um, hopefully as I go along I can find a close enough dupe for this. I'm gonna keep this and I it is in my project use it up. So Then I have my OPI. I eat mainly lobster. I'm undecided about this one. This is a very cute color, I think, and it would be perfect for spring, but I have to think about this. Next up, I have another China Glaze nail polish. This is in Sunset Sail, and I love this shade because this is a very nudie shade, and I'm going to keep this one around for my project use it up. 